now. Uh, they're not totally eliminated, but you know it seems pretty unlikely that they're not making the playoffs this year. Yeah, I mean, to say that they even have a chance is very slim, but uh, this is pretty much at the point of the season where how much dog do you have in you? How much fight do you really have? This is for pride. You? This is definitely for pride, uh, especially for some of the seniors on this team. Uh, you know, it, it, it's at the point now where they want to go out on a good note, on a high note, get people to remember them, and uh, let's see what can happen. I mean, this has just been an absolute miserable year for Fredonia men's basketball, but if they, right now they could start to turn around and get a good culture, momentum towards next season. And the shot is no good right off the bat for the Cardinals, rebounded by the Cardinals, and now they kick it back out to number 11, Brandon Johnson. And like I said, Johnson leads and assists to look for him to really create some offense. And Johnson pulls up for three, and his shot is good. Plattsburgh jumps out to the early three to nothing lead. Instead, he actually goes for a three. So now the Blue Devils trying to get their offense set up. This is Roberts to ice. Daquan Smith comes around the screen. Drives in. And Daquan and stops. Daquan averages almost 11 per game. I mean, they're going to need a big game if they want to come out with a win here. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Smith, Smith turns it over. Here come the Cardinals. This is Johnson to number four for the layup. That gets blocked by Cody Johnson. And that was number four, Nick DeAngelis, whose shot was blocked from Cody Johnson. And, you know, that was a huge block there. I mean, already establishing a physical presence. And like he always does is Cody Johnson. So Cody Johnson picks up the foul here. And to saying a little bit about him, I mean, he started all 19 games this season so far. I mean, he's just a warrior. He's going to be in the game. He's going to give you everything he got. And, uh, you know, you need teammates like that. You need those teammates that are just warriors and will never miss practice, will never miss a game. You know, they're going to be out there every single time. And sometimes they might take it slow in practice, but that's because they, at the end goal, they want to really – be successful there for a game and give it their all. So I, I respect a lot of Cody Johnson. Patrons, two free throws are good. So it's five to nothing here, a minute into the game. Riddick drives in, kicks it back out the ice. Gives it to Daquan Smith in the corner for three. Tries to bank that one in, no good. Rebounded by Jake Quish. Up to Middleton. And for Daquan Smith, he only made 35 uh, three-pointers this year. So, you know, maybe not his strong suit. He's 30, 35 for 94. Now Daquan Smith is hes usually the go-to guy when it comes to shooting. But uh, what would you say his percentage is, Crescenzo? His percentage you, from three-point line is 390. Uh, 372. So not terrible. He's 35 of 94, so. And Smith puts up the runner, and that one is good, and Fredonia's on the board. Remember earlier in the year how Isaiah Ice was really running that offense. Now it seems to really have shifted to Daquan Smith, so something definitely happened when we were last broadcasted here. Now Jayquish to the corner. This is DeAngelis. He puts up three, and he's going to be followed. He's going, going to the line for three. Yeah, and Smith just touched the elbow as he was going up, so it's definitely going to be a foul to number four for the Cardinals. So DeAngelis is at the line. Short on the first free throw. For De uh, DeAngelis, this is only his third game starting, so they're definitely running with a weaker lineup, trying to give the guy some rest for the playoffs. That they have a really good record. They're definitely going to be in that top four seed. You know, they're the top. They're the near the top. You know, they're definitely going to be in that playoff hunt. So, uh, there looks like they're going to be resting up some guys and see what opportunities that these guys that have been off the bench are going to be made of. DeAngelis goes one of three from the free throw line. Now Riddick at the top of the key. He drives in. Strong shot, no good. Rebounded by Patron. Now DeAngelis turns it over. This is Daquan Smith now on the fast break. 
And his layup was no good. And that's a shot that you have to make if you're Smith. I mean, that's a gimme right there. You know, you can't miss those opportunities. Especially there. against a team like Plattsburgh, yeah. who's 15 and 15 and uh, four, excuse me, overall, nine and three in conference play. Yeah, so. and they're the second best team in their conference. So this is not going to be an easy game for Fredonia. Shot is no good. And the Cardinals come back the other way. Shot is no good. They get the offensive rebound. This is Patron. He puts up the shot. No foul is called. Ice with the rebound. And I think one thing that we already see is the size. I mean, we said it throughout the season how this is a Kicks very Kicks it to Daquan Smith for three. And that one is no good. Sorry, Crescenzo. No problem. I mean, uh, wide open opportunity for Smith. But, again, this team has a very small stature. And uh, to compete with these taller teams is very hard. And a no-look pass. That was beautiful. Fortunately, no good. Rebounded again. And again, no good. That was a beautiful pass, though, by uh, D'Angelo. I mean, I mean, no look. He wasn't even looking at him. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, once again, it's not as bad as uh, the game against Oneana. Uh, I know you weren't here for that one, Crescenzo. Um, I did the webcast for that one. Patrons' first free throw is no good. But Oneana, the... You know, they just, there's a height advantage at every position. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's not as bad today, but they're, the Cardinals definitely have some size to them, so Fredoni's got to dig, dig deep and play tough here. Yeah, definitely. Second free throw is good, 7-2. to And as for number five for the Cardinals, I mean, he's pretty much in the top category for a lot of things. He averages 22 points per game. Uh, Three-point percentage is, is pretty good at 380% wise. Daquan Smith drives in. That shot gets blocked. Now Patron up to DeAngelis. Nice pass to Johnson. Reverse layup is good. And Johnson, I mean, talk about someone who plays a lot of minutes. He's played 646 minutes throughout the entire season, most out of anyone on this team. So Ice has it at the top of the key. Gives it to Johnson. He tries a three. That one is short. And Johnson for three, I mean, I don't really, I don't remember the last time I really seen that. I mean. He made one, uh, made one when, <laughs> one when time. you were, well, yeah, when you weren't here. And Patron's shot is good. But that's usually not his strong suit, so, you know. Yeah. I, I feel like it's just been an ongoing season. They don't know where to be. They don't know who's controlling at which role. You know, they don't know who's doing what. And I feel like it's hurting them a lot of the time, but. You know, if they really want to win this game, like they, you know, they were so close against, I believe it was Cortland that one time, you know, to come up with a big win, but they ended up losing. But, you know, if they can come up yeah. with it. Yeah. Yeah. 78 to win. 65. Right. And Buff State, 88 78. Right. So they've I had mean, a couple of close losses. So yeah. And then a, <laughs> then a couple blowouts, too. Oneana, yeah. 106 to 63. Right. But we'll, we'll talk. Uh, talk more about the the future of this team and what to expect next year as the game goes on exactly uh, the senior day is not today it'll be Tuesday but we'll get to that during uh, talk about that during halftime and throughout the game yeah definitely as timeout is ended and ice will bring it up for the blue doubles signals Tyler Roberts to go to the corner gives it to Smith now now Kadeem Riddick his three-point shot is no good. Johnson calling out the play for Plattsburgh. Drives in. Kicks it back out. Patron now. Shot is blocked from Cody Johnson. Good defense there from Johnson. Uh, another great block there. I mean, already two blocks in the game. It's only been like five minutes. So, no, key block. Has a couple of substitutes. Are going to come in. Looks like number two, 52 for the Blue Devils will be coming in. So Mark Morgan and Bidiaka Niasa come in. Now Middleton goes ISO and pulls up. Free throw jumper is good. And again, a huge size advantage. I mean, that was pretty much uncontested at this point. So now Morgan, top of the key to Johnson to Smith. Nice pass to Johnson. He can't get it. And Johnson, that's a big mishandle. I mean, he was wide open under the net. Nice Good moves move. There. Wow. 
by nice him. move wow. from the big guy. Jonathan Patron. The there's a reason why he's the top scorer on this team. Yeah. I mean, those moves represent it all the way. I mean, you wouldn't think a guy that size, you know, he's not he's not the skinniest guy on the court where he can juke everyone, but he's still got some great agility. He's listed at 6'2", 245. Nice pass into Jayquish, and Plattsburgh has a 17-2 to two lead. Also with uh, Patron, I mean, for the Plattsburgh Cardinals, I mean, he really is good with rebounds as well. Average is 10 a game. Defensively, he has 150 compared to his offensive numbers, which is 58. So it, it really is astonishing. Ice, Ice's three-point shot is no good. Now Patron has it. He's getting double teamed, and good defense there. And wow, the ball goes off of Patron's leg. Patron's really upset with that call. I mean, I would be too. There's no way that he would lose. There's no way that he would lose that, unfortunately. And. Uh, he pretty much had full control. He got swatted out of his hand, so I don't know how that's even possible. But he's still barking at the referee about that, so he's got to be careful there too. So now Morgan over to Messiah Hill, who just checked in. Now to Ice. Ice drives in. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Nyasa now pulls up for three, and it's good. Actually, that was just a two-pointer. Long two, though. Long two. Shot is no good from the Cardinals. Rebounded by Patron. Blocked again by Johnson. Rebounded by Hill up to ice. They have numbers. Nice pass to Johnson. And he can't finish. So now Jaquish to Middleton. He's open for three, and it's good. And if you're Fredonia, you can't leave him wi that wide open against, you know, a league team like this. So, 20 to four is the score. Nyasa hands it off to Morgan. This is ice on the wing to Nyasa. That one is almost goes for a backcourt violation. Nyasa gets it back. His pass is stolen. A bad pass there. I mean, I don't know what he saw there. Defender was right in front of him. Tried to put it in a place he couldn't put. And Middleton drives in, makes it, and forces Fredonia to call another timeout. Not even eight minutes into the game. How 22 to four is the score. How many timeouts have there been, too? I mean, it seems like this is three already. I mean, and you I, I believe just two. Yeah. Two or three. I mean, you just see the frustration. I mean, it. This team has just been struggling throughout the entire season, but they got to have some pride in themselves or else there's going to be another big blowout. Yep. Uh, once again, sorry about that, folks. My laptop uh, froze for some reason, but I just got it back now. So once again, uh, the stats for Plattsburgh, Jonathan Patron he comes into today's game averaging 22.7 points a game 10.9 rebounds, so yeah. he is just a dynamic force down low. And then Brandon Johnson, he averages 14.3 points, and they don't have his assists per game, but he has 93 assists for the year. And then Chris Middleton, he's averaging 13.3 points, so they have three guys averaging more than 13 points. And then for Fredonia, their individual scorers or the individual stats, Daquan Smith, he's averaging 10.9, followed by Bidiaco Niasa with 8.7, and Isaiah Ice with 7.8. And, you know, I mean, just when you see compared numbers, I mean, it's just a big drop-off. I mean, it seems like at any point, Fredonia can never get their offense going. I mean, they don't really even have a real top scorer. I mean, the top scorer averages 11 a game. Yeah. So it's going to be hard to win games like that. That one gets thrown out of bounds. And you see them bickering at the bottom, I mean, between number 32 and number 11 for the Blue Devils. I mean, I feel like it's just going to boil up the frustration at this point. This one goes out of bounds. Wow. Number 44 for Plattsburgh, Taylor Mason, 6'11", 
290. And he's a freshman. Yeah. <laughs> he's wow. A, he's a, definitely a size difference. Oh, yeah. Compared to Cody Johnson. Jeez. He's huge. Shot is no good from Morgan. And, of course, a rebound. Outlet pass up to Middleton. He comes in one on two. Slows things down. And now Patron has at the top of the key to Johnson. Down low into Mason. Back out to Johnson. He's open for three. That one's no good. Patron with the offensive rebound. And the ball gets stuck in between the, the hoop and the backboard. And now you hear bickering from Plattsburgh head coach. Tom Curley. And also for Plattsburgh number 10, Travis Cox has checked in. This is Messiah Hill now. Almost a travel there for Messiah Hill. Good thing he recognized. Yes, it pulls up for another three. That one's short. Cox with the rebound. And the one thing that uh, Niasa has been good at this whole season has been his free throws. He's 19 for 22, 864 percentage. So that's a really good percentage as it's going to be a foul call. Isaiah Ice picks up his first foul. And I don't know if it's me or you, but it feels like Isaiah Ice has really, you know, you can just see, like, the emotion on him more and more each game where he's just so frustrated and everything yeah. like that. And uh, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, definitely in earlier in the year, it, it, he didn't show this much emotion. Yeah, I mean, that comes with the 2-17 and 17 record. You know, he's, he's a captain. Um, he's a senior. This is his, his last hurrah, you know, and to you know not be able to to win a lot of games. It's it's definitely you know hurts physically and mentally. Yeah. Two free throws are no good off the hand of Cox, but Patron gets the rebound, puts up the shot, no good, and the Cardinals work it back around the perimeter. Now is down low. Patron, nice pass over the shoulder to Mason, and he lays that one in. 24 to four. See a lot of time from Mason. I mean, Mason doesn't start games, but he's been in 13 out of the 19 games, so he definitely comes in, but today you should see a lot of him get a lot of experience for the playoffs, because a guy that size, I mean, you're definitely gonna need him. And now, look at Fredonia. They're going to try to match up with the big man, which is going to be very hard to do. Yeah, Gary Sykes comes in. He is 6'5". So, <laughs> so, I mean... Still six inches shorter. Yeah, compared to 6'11". I mean, it's just surprised. Just surprised how big a man, man is like that, you know? He's Like I said, he's... And Sykes puts it up. No good. Gets the offensive rebound. Goes up again. No good. And... <laughs> That, that hit off of what I think it hit off of? It, Cox threw it off of Messiah Hill, yeah. and it just kind of rolled around on his back, and ah. as he was out of bounds, it, the ball was still with him. Kind of yeah. rolled around on him while he was out of bounds, so Plattsburgh okay. has the ball. This is Middleton. Pass gets deflected. That's Good defense from Morgan. Yeah, that's a really nice job. Way now, to stay aware. Now up to Nyasa, and they're going to call him for the double, double dribble. dribble. And again, another key turnover. We've been saying it all year long of how, uh, you know, turnovers have kind of killed them. Uh, being insufficient has killed this team. I mean, it's just, again and again, the same mistakes over and over. And, uh, you know, obviously it's not going to cure this year, but definitely in the offseason, maybe even in re uh, recruiting or whatever. But, you know, they definitely need to change something. Yeah, Mason with the offensive rebound off of the missed shot. Jump ball. Stay in here. And why they didn't even pay attention for that wide open three. No one was ready for Fredonia. And this is a 2 and 17 team. I mean, that was just wide open. I mean, no one was even paying attention to the inbound pass. So 27 to 4. Yes, you heard that right. 27 to 4. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just didn't want to repeat it. Oh, and wait. one, Mark Morgan. Can be 27 to 7, so we can make it a 20 point game. There we go. So 27 to 6 now. 
And Morgan has really been playing a lot of time recently. He has five starts um, since we kind of been gone. And, you know, he's played in all 19 games, but the five starts have really helped out. Uh, his defensive rebounds have really been good. He has 73 rebounds overall, and 57 of them have been defensively. So he really has come on strong defensive side. Follow on the other end now. So Travis Cox will be a back at the line. And for Travis Cox, I mean, th this is a big opportunity for him. I mean, he doesn't, he never started in any of the games. He's played in all 19, but he hasn't started. And, um, you know, this is a big opportunity to see what he has. And he averages around 4.5 a game, so right near the five point range. So, you know, whatever points come off the bench, we say before, you know, whatever, whenever someone comes off the bench, they need to be a key player, a key star, get a couple points here or there. That's exactly what he is. Two free throws are good. Now Hill, Hill has it at the green line. This is Moody, he drives in. And it's gonna be staying here, went off of Travis Cox's leg. And you know, someone that we usually see at this point is Matt Perez. I mean, we haven't seen him at all today so far. But usually, you know, when we started the year or started the broadcast, he was coming in a lot. So far, he hasn't come in the game. Yeah, in games like this, Hill, nice cut, nice pass, but can't get it to drop, but he's going to the line. And you see the whole bench kind of stand up. I believe that's number two for Plattsburgh standing up right now. I mean, uh, he, he's a little bit shocked how that was a foul. Yeah, but... Uh, Crescenza, so the, these are the type of games, you know, obviously the season is, you know, they're pretty much not going to the playoffs. We know that um, with just a few games left and uh, they're in last place in the conference. So, I mean, th these are the type of games where, you know, it's great to see what you have for next year. You know, play all the, a lot of the young guys, a lot of the freshmen, sophomores, see what you have for next year and, you know, let them grow and develop and get some playing time. Hill's second free throw is good. So Johnson at the top of the key, guarded by Moody, one of the young guys I just mentioned. Johnson has it again, over to Jayquish. Into Patron. And here's a huge size advantage. And his turnaround shot is no good. Offensive rebound was tipped by Jayquish and went off of Moody's leg. So it'll be staying here. Fresh uh, 30 seconds on the shot clock as Chad Biersbach uh, comes into the game. These guys are gonna be going to the bench with the biggest man off the court. A nice no look pass. And three point shot is no good. Rebounded by Moody. He goes crashing into the cheerleaders. <laughs> Everyone's okay, though. <laughs> that three-pointer was off of the hand of number 33 for Plattsburgh, Liam Carey. And I believe it was Carey who almost broke the backboard <laughs> during warm-ups with yeah, that monstrous with dunk. 6'5 freshman. Colton George gets open for three, and he drains that one. And some, someone's hurt. Not an easy injury right here. That'll be Chad Biersbach. Yeah, he, he just came into the game, too, and he got tripped up and a little bit limping here. I mean, he's jogging, so that's a good sign. Looks like he'll stay in. We'll see how well he can really run and jog. You know, knee injuries are a killer, I, I think in basketball and in soccer. I feel like it's more in basketball because it's so reliant on going back and forth, sudden stop, sudden movements. So is soccer too, but I feel like this is the hardest sport when it comes to your knees and your Achilles and all that other stuff, so hopefully he's okay. Now Patron gets it down low. He gets triple teamed and he's going to the line. He 
Hoffman's going to be at the line for two. First shot is no good. And that's one area that he can improve on. His free throw shooting isn't spectacular. He's 103 for 168 attempted. Uh, so that puts him at a 613% uh, for his free throws. And, um, you know, that's something you can always improve somewhere. Stay after practice, just work on them. You know, because he's so efficient in his rebounding and his scoring, but his free throws have to get better for the playoffs. And he makes that one, so it's 30 to 10. Now Moody to Colton George. Ice to Moody. Now George has it in the corner. He drives in. To Messiah Hill down low. Puts up the turnaround jumper. Too strong off the back of the rim. Now Patron drives in, kicks it out. Cox for three. And that one's no good. Blue, Devil, Blue Devils come up the court with numbers. Moody, strong take, but that one goes off the side of the backboard. Colton George is there and puts it up and in. That's a nice job by George. Get him something. Start to work towards this deficit. You know, if you want to start to make a movement, don't let him score. And they're going to call another foul now. You know, Crescenzo, that's another big problem for Fredonia this year. They've had multiple multiple fouls this year yeah where I, I I can't remember for sure but I I think one of the games that I did when you were when we were on break it was a, a from both teams there were a total of like 53 fouls in the game yeah that's a just no -no. way too many wow 53 man Jeez. I think there was a game of like 42 and another game of 53 it was just foul too after many foul, fouls. you know from both teams too but you know we've seen Fredonia and, and a lot too this year. Just to kind of say, I feel like that's more of the men's team than the women's. I feel like the women's haven't really been fouled as much. They're more control, more contained, where the men have at times looked sporadic and trying to be flashy, trying to yeah. make the extra play, and then it ended up costing them. Daquan Smith is back in the game. He has it on the, the far wing. Chad Beersbach, pump fake, drives in. Nice dish to Cody Johnson. No good. Beersbach gets it back. And he's looking for someone to give it to. Finds ice. And we're going to see what happened here. I don't know what this call is. Yeah, I do not know either. Unusual call here. But I and man, you Coach is flipping wow. out for the Cardinals. That is... I mean, wow, that was, I don't know what that was. Man, he is outraged. Yeah, so Ice drives in. Puts up the shot, but he traveled. And actually, actually the coaches are, wow. The coach is coming said, back to the scorer's yeah, table. He actually just yelled at the scorer's table. I'm surprised he did not get a foul there, to be honest. And he's still barking at the table. And I believe wow. he actually just barked at our athletic director, to be honest with you, about that. So I think he's got to be careful, or else he might get ejected, to be honest. Well, uh, remember in the hockey game against yes. Buff State, their coach took one of his players' sticks and started slamming it on the bench, yeah. and he got thrown out of the game. This pass gets deflected, and it's going to be staying here. But, yeah, that was nuts um, last nope. Friday. That was a player, yeah, it, Took one of his player's sticks and just started bashing it, and it broke it, like over his over his player's heads. Like he didn't hit him in the head, but like you know, he went in between the players to like bang him on to bang it on the um, on the bench. It, it was just nuts. Now another foul is going to be called. So eighth foul already for Fredonia. Yeah, way too many. You, know, you can't you can't do this when you know. You're already the underdog. You're already down, you know, by so many points. You can't keep fouling. And yeah. As we're going to see two free throw attempts. First one from number 24 for Plattsburgh is no good. It was actually an end one opportunity. I believe it was a one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe one-on-one. -on -one. And 
Another foul is going to be called. And <laughs> Tom Curley's up on his feet yelling again. I would not be surprised if he got a foul called on his whole team. You better be careful or else he'll, they'll tee him up. Ice gets the first free throw to roll in. And second one, he does not get the roll in. And usually Isaiah Ice is pretty good. He's 652 percentage, 30 for 46 for free throws. So. Corner three is no good, but Cox is there for the offensive rebound. He puts it in. That uh, corner three was from number three, Jeremy Eisenman. Ice hands it off to Daquan Smith. This is George to Ice. Uses the screen. Gives it to George. He's open for three. And his three-point shot is good again. And Holden three, George is now up to eight points. Speaking of three-pointers, uh, Plattsburgh has 138 three-pointers out of 420. Deep one, three and now here, good. Here's another one. This is before today's game. But they allow their opponents more three three pointers. They allow their points 158 to 487. So that is one area they can improve on. Now Beersbach, he's open and shot is a little too strong there. And guess what? Another foul. Another foul. <laughs> Nine fouls already. Six for Plattsburgh, so already at 15. And as there's a substitution. Tyler Roberts comes back in, as does K uh, Kadeem Riddick. Johnson to the bench. First free throw is good. And Eisenman misses the second one. And there's going to be offensive foul called. Too many fouls here. I mean. Chad Beer's back. that's what's really hurting for Donia so far. I mean, they just, lately, they just do not have any offensive possessions that you can really say that was a good offensive possession. Strong take from Cox, and he puts it up and in. Yeah, that was a really nice take there. Really doing well so far in this game. And another foul is going to be called. This is going to go to Plattsburgh this time, number 10, Travis Cox. And leading Plattsburgh in points is number two for Plattsburgh. With 10 so far. As Ice will go to the free throw line as a substitution will be made. Number one for Plattsburgh will be in. First free throw. No good. And first and only. So again, another missed opportunity just to gain one point. Or two, you know, since it was a one and one. Exactly. So now this is Middleton in the corner. Lob pass to Jayquish. Beautiful pass there. I mean. Yeah, really nice pass from DeAngelis to Jayquish. I mean, again, the size matters in that opportunity because if they had a bigger man, you know, maybe they could have intercepted the pass get a fast break and score some points, but because of that, two more points allowed. Yep. And size again. Riddick's pass gets tipped. Riddick drives in, gives it to Beersbach. Colden George, he tries another three, and it's good again. Colden George, he's got the hot hand. Another three-pointer, I mean, he's been really good beyond the arc. And another foul is gonna be called. So 
40 to 19 is the score. Just under four minutes left in the first half. Adam Jaquish is at the line for two. First one is good. Morgan is back in for beers back. Second one is short. DeAngelis with the offensive rebound. He gives it to Jaquish, and he is fouled. So now another foul, so he's going to go to the line. 17 fouls so far in this first half. And there's still about four minutes left. First free throw is good. That's the second one. Will be no good. <laughs> Goes in and out of the bucket. I did totally Almost rolled back in. Yeah. <laughs> Colton George is open for another three. Not this time. Well, he was open. He just didn't make it. <laughs> yep. Now this number one, Matt Bernhard, who is checked in for the Cardinals. DeAngelis. Backs down Roberts. Nice move nice here. Nice move. Nice move. And can't get that one to drop. That's no good, but that's a beautiful move. I mean, uh, really fake your opponent. Go one way, then the other, then the other. And Ice gets an easy layup, uncontested layup in. Nice move from Isaiah Ice. He's got those quick feet. He can just blow past his defenders. So 42 to 21 is now the score. Surprising he only has three points so far. Turnover for the Cardinals. And here comes Ice. He's got Roberts. And he takes it in himself. Can't get it to fall. That's a that's a really nice job though for Ice just to be open and be secured there. I mean, honestly, uh, it's worth taking the foul, but again, he's got to make these points count. I mean, he's missed a lot of free throws so far. So we'll see what he does here. So we've got two shots coming. And the first one goes in and out. Second one is good. Back to a 20 point game. 250 left in the first half. Cardinals are working around the perimeter. Now down low, this is DeAngelis. Backs on Roberts, offensive foul. Uh, off good defense from yep. Tyler Roberts. That's a great job. I mean, that, there was definitely a mismatch there. So maybe a little bit of flopping going on, but that was definitely the time to do it. You saw the mismatch. You saw he was going to hit hard, trying to drive in. Beautiful job there. Now this is Riddick on the far wing. Gives it to Morgan. He's in the corner. He drives in now. Puts up the shot. Strong take, and he gets it to fall. That's a nice job there. Way to be patient and then be aggressive at the same time. This is Bernhard now. Crowd, crowd on the bench are starting to get into it. Patron drives in. Good defense from Riddick. And, and they're going to call. Foul. Oh, wow. But wait a minute. He's going to go to the score. Yep, he's going to call it. As Coach Seymour wanted to travel. Yeah. but Very close to a travel, but it's not going to happen. Pa yeah, so patrons, patrons at the line for two. number five for the Blue Devils still trying to argue that it was travel first free throw is good because that would be Tyler Roberts still talking to the official <coughs> as see another one can be made here and 
it did. Looks like a substitution is going to be made. It's number four. Wayne, Wayne Chi is in for Plattsburgh. Morgan now, he drives in. And he can't get it to finish this time. And those are the ones that we're talking about, Christian, so you gotta get those to fall. Yes. You know, it's down, back to a 20 point game. That one's intercepted by George. Up to Ice. Nice moves, and he gets it to fall. Isaiah Ice, 44 to 26. Another good job there by Ice. Now he looks like his offense is starting to find, he's trying to find his offense, excuse me. And it looks like it's coming up now. Pass down low to Middleton. Morgan defending him. Turnaround jumper. Beautiful job Good there defense. By but guess who's there for the offensive rebound? Yep. Jonathan Patron. That was a beautiful jo job by uh, George to step up. And, and looks like a foul is called. They gave... Phil Seymour a warning. Yep. Kadeem Riddick's fired that, up. That is that is funny how they gave him a warning, but not Plattsburgh's yeah. a warning. I mean, he was yelling at everyone for one call early in the game and, and even yelled at the score table and the, even the athletic director, it looked like. Um, I could have been wrong, but it, that's what it looked like to me. I'm surprised they gave our coach a warning, but not the others. So I don't know how I feel about that. I, I, I don't think that was the right call. Maybe something was said where we couldn't hear it, but I don't think that was a good call. So Fredoni has the ball. This is Colton George. He gives it to Ice. Ice drives in. Another nice take, and he gets it to drop once again. Isaiah Ice coming on here in the end of the first half. Ice has got to be careful, though, with his emotions. I mean, this is, he has the hot hand, but stay composed, stay Stay in your zone. You are finding your shots. He really has been quicker than everyone on this court right now. But he's got to stay composed, stay motivated. And <laughs> you see how Roberts did not like that call. That's another foul. So 19th foul on the half. Actually, I believe it, that's the Probably 20th. more. Yeah, I don't think they, they updated it yet, but I think that's... Probably can't go past 10. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's more than that. I could be wrong, though. Oh, <laughs> you might be right, because that's Fredonia's 14th foul. Yeah. So either... It, it, I mean, it's got to go past 10, since, you know, I got... It's on 10, so it can reach double digits, but... Yeah, I don't know if it can Maybe they past. just done up, didn't update it yet, but yeah. Uh, 14 fouls now for the Blue Devils. Nine for the Cardinals. Two free throws are good from DeAngelis. And then a call she on the push off. So now Fredoni is going to the line. 43 seconds left. So we're on pace for our average amount of fouls in a uh, Fredonia uh, Blue Devils game here with. 24 so far with 43 seconds left in the first half. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's over the last couple games, that's been the average, you know, 50 fouls a game. And Riddick, no good there. Mark Morgan with the offensive rebound, puts it up and in. And he's going to the line for the end one. That's a beautiful job there. Way to come by with some energy. I mean, that's just, that's what you need. I mean, look, they're down by 18, they could be down by 16, which isn't. 17. Or 17, <laughs> excuse me, because it's going to be an M1. They can be down here and, you know, don't let them shoot and get off another shot. And, you know, you got the momentum for the half. I mean, you never know what can happen. Free throw is good. So DeAngelis has it, gives it to Middleton. Now this is number 23, Marlon Todd, who's checked in. DeAngelis works down low, puts it up and in. So 50 to 31 is the score. 20 seconds left. See if Fredoni can go into halftime with some momentum. Ice is calling out the play. He's at the top of the key. 10 seconds left. Gives it to Tyler Roberts. Thinks about that three. 
Drives in, stops, pops, and puts it up and in. A great job to go into the half with all this momentum. Half court shot. Ooh, Ooh. that almost went in. Closer, closer than uh, I thought it'd be, but that one rolls out. And Fredoni goes into halftime down 17. And uh, we're gonna take a break and we'll be back in a few minutes, give a quick halftime report and then we'll get you ready for the second half action. Once again, Fredonia is down 50 to 33. Stay tuned. Lay. Zerk. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building. Yeah. All right, all ready to show. Slip up off your path, I don't switch up, I just laugh Put my kicks up on they desk, unaffected by they threats Then get busy on they ass, see that's how that shut down me Man, that's how my daddy raised me That glittering may not be gold, don't let nobody play me If you are my homeboy, you never have to pay me Go on and put your hands up, when times it's hard you stand up L.U.P. the man, cause a brand that the fans trust So even if they ban us, they'll never slow my plans up There. Three in the air for the kids in the ghetto. Four for the kids that don't want to be there. None for the people that's trying to hold them back. Five in the air for the teachers not scared to tell those kids that's living in the ghetto that they're holding back that the world is theirs. Yeah, yeah, the world is yours. I was once that little boy, terrified of the world. Now I'm on a world tour. I will give up everything, even start a world war for these ghetto girls and boys I'm rapping around the world for. Africa to New York, Haiti then I detour. Oakland out to Oakland, guys are stripped to detour. Say hip hop only destroy. Tell them, look at me, boy. I hope your son don't have a gun and never be a D boy. What you into, no matter what you see, when you look outside your window, brown grass or green grass, picket fence or barbed wire, never ever put them down, you just lift your arms higher, raise them to your arms higher, let them know you there, that you struggling, surviving, that you gon' persevere, yeah, ain't nobody leaving, nobody going home, even if they turn the lights out, the show is going on. Thank you. 
que a ti no te va a pasar la boca. Mi tía y Valenciaga me reciben en la entrada. Pa, 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 sí, like a Mary Gaga. Y no te me hagas, eh, que en cover de vivo tú has visto mi cara. Eh, no salgo de tu mente, donde quiera que viajes, has escuchado mi gente. Eh. Ya no soy high, high, soy como el testa rosa. No soy el que se la vive y también el que la goza. Goza, goza, es la cosa, mami, es la cosa. Goza, goza. El que mira sufre y el que toca goza. goza, goza. I said I like it like that. 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 I'm the district in the chat. Welcome back to Dodds Hall for this SUNYAC matchup between the Plattsburgh Cardinals and the Fredonia Blue Devils. Once again, I am Kevin Syracuse with Crescenzo Fano, and you are listening to WCBF 88.9 FM or, or and WDBL 89.5. And maybe you're watching us or yeah. <laughs> watching the game and listening to us on WNYF TV or on FredoniaBlueDevils.com. There are a ton of ways that you can be uh, watching or listening to this game or you who knows? Well, <laughs> maybe you're here. Yeah, I was say maybe you're here and listening to us. But, anyways, uh, 50 to 33 is the score. It was 27 to four at one point. It just looked like a, you know, one of those games where it was just going to be 100 to 50 or you know something like that. But Fredonia tightened up their defense. They really, you know, started playing more as a team. They double teamed uh, Jonathan Patron who came, comes into tonight's game averaging almost 23 and 11. So, I mean, after they tightened up D, their D, they started, you know, getting more flow to their offense, and it was less, uh, you know, less bad shots and less ISO and more, you know, using, using their players, using that offense and getting in the groove, taking some nice drives to the hoop, and... We have ourselves a 17-point game. So, Crescenzo, what do you, what do you think about the first half, and what do you think Fredonia needs to do in the second half to keep chipping away at this lead? Well, let's take it at this point that a lot of the starters for Plattsburgh are not even playing, and if they are, they're playing maybe five, ten minutes, you know, other than maybe one or two. Uh, a lot of them have been subs, but if Fredonia wants to keep on this roll, they need to stay with their offense. Isaiah Ice needs to use his quickness. Uh, really juke out some people and be able to drive past them and get into the open lanes. And, you know, as for others, you know, they need to make th their own shots. They need to be creative, uh, go in and out, drive into the hoop, fake, go out of the hoop, or maybe fake a uh, three-pointer attempt with a pump fake and then go inside. I, I think there's too much consistency where the it's just going to be, all right, I'm going to shoot a three, that's it. Uh, you got to improvise. And as for Plattsburgh, you know, just keep rolling what you're, you know, keep doing what you're doing. You're still leading by, you know, <laughs> a big margin. So why stop at this point and change your game at this point? You know, maybe if it gets down to 10, then, yeah, you can change your game. But you're still at a very, uh, you know, you still have an incredible lead right now. So so 15 seconds left. Uh, quick look at some stats here. So uh, Fredonia is shooting 40% from the field, Plattsburgh. 50%. Well, actually, they've both taken 32 shots. Plattsburgh just made three more. Um, Fredoni's two for 10 for three. Plattsburgh is four for nine. So they're getting the same amount of shots, but one thing that we, di we didn't mention yet is 
Well, turnovers, they're, they're tied with seven, but fouls. There's so many fouls for Fredonia. Um, 14 to 10 in favor of Fredonia for the fouls. And, you know, Plattsburgh's, you, you look at it, you know, Plattsburgh's only made three more shots than Fredonia, but they're out to a 17 point lead. That's because they've had so many free throw opportunities because Fredonia keeps picking up these fouls. Yeah, definitely. So they really need to clean up their game in that aspect. And we are underway here in the second half. Isaiah Ice gets things started for the Blue Devils. Riddick gets double teamed right away. Now he finds Ice. Daquan Smith in the corner for three. Bang! That's a beautiful shot, beautiful pass there. I mean, no idea why Plattsburgh would come out with a double team right away, but they ended up doing that and it cost them. And Smith steals that one. And he finishes the layup. And momentum is on Fredonia's side. Like I said at the end of the half, momentum is going to start out with Fredonia, and they have they are riding on it. I mean, two quick uh, possessions, and it ended up in big points here. And turnaround shot from turnaround fadeaway is good from Patron. So it's a 14-point game. But I like the way Fredonia's come out here in the first minute of the second half. They looked really good. I mean, it really has been spectacular so far. Dickon Smith step back three. Bang! It's good. Wow, what a juke. Daquan Smith starting to fire up here in the, or heat up here in the second half. Wow. Down to 11 now. I can't believe he got that, man. That was like James Harden type stuff. I mean, Riddick steals incredible. this one up to Smith. He gives it up to Ice. Nice spin move to get past the defender. Back to Smith. He wants that three. You know that. See, this is where Fredonia cannot stop. They cannot rest. They are quicker. They don't have the size, but they're quicker than Plattsburgh. That's their whole motive the whole season. Let's see. That's an air ball from Smith. It might have hit the top of the rim. Well, we'll give him that. <laughs> either, either way, he was trying to make it work. Now the Cardinals have it with Middleton at the top of the key. Roberts is on him now. Uh, DeAngelis. Ball gets worked down low to Patron. Riddick's all over him. And Patron puts it up and in. Daquan Smith now. To Riddick. Back out. This is Roberts. He drives in. Nice find. Gives it to Cody Johnson. And he finishes. And Fredonia is really starting out well. Good passing. Uh, energy. You see them energized for the first time, I think, all season. I mean, he, they have really come out strong. And Jayquish gets the end one. See, that, that's the case where, you know, if you're going to follow him, make sure he, he can't get the shot off. Yep. But, I mean, Cody Johnson was behind him. He already lost his positioning to Jayquish. So in that case, you know, just let him put it in and, you know, not follow him as he makes the free throw. And Johnson has picked up his third, more importantly. So 57 to 43 now. Ice. To Riddick. He drives in. Ooh, and he's got lucky that he didn't get a travel call there. Look, it was very close. Wild shot from Riddick is an air ball. Now Patron comes the other way. And his layup is no good. Rebounded by Riddick. Up to Ice. Four on one for Fredonia. This is a key opportunity here. Daquan Smith in the corner for three. Oh. And that one's short. Smith gets it back, puts up the elbow jumper. And, and that, that one, one is good. In. That That's a great job. I mean, even though he missed the three, that was still a great opportunity there to make and have the opportunity to shoot that three. And they really have cut it down now. We have ourselves a ball game. Daquan Smith is up to 12 points. I believe 10 of those are just in this half. I, I think, I don't know about you, Kevin, but this is the most energy I've really seen them in a very long time. They looked depleted yeah. in the first half. Somehow they found their energy, and now they are using that momentum. And that shot is good from Brandon Johnson. Ice hands it off to Smith. Now Roberts. Pulls up. And his three is just a little too far to the right. 
Also, Tyler Roberts has a really good free throw percentage, so watch for him at the end of the game. I mean, he has eight, 18 for 20, so he hits 90% pretty much from the free throw line. Kadeem Riddick picks up his second foul. Messiah Hill comes in for him. You know, I like the way Riddick came out this half, too, playing really strong defense. Yes. Holding Patron to – a Patron has scored, but, he, you know, he was playing tough defense, and he – He's getting a few rebounds, and now Plattsburgh has called a timeout. Talk about someone who really had a hot hand. I mean, Smith, what a hot hand he had. I mean, it, it was incredible of what he did. Like, you know, it was just bang, 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 shot after shot. It was just incredible. I mean, uh, this is exactly what Fernoni needed because now, you know, they're pretty much in this ballgame for only 14 points. I mean, a couple more possessions like that will make it 10 to make it 6, and then, you know, it's a, it's a ball game. So if they keep this momentum and keep, uh, if they're able to keep this pace up, that it's going to be very good for them. So Daquan Smith is up to 12 points for the game. And his average Holden is Georgia is 10. His average is 10. So yeah. he's already beaten his average, so anything is just better. And for Plattsburgh, Patron is up to 17 already. Yeah, Patron is just the one guy that they have to somehow find and slow down. And Patron gets it after it was deflected. He works on Hill, crosses him up. Good defense from Hill, almost poked that one away. And now Johnson. Again, watch for the assist. Pulls Johnson. up. Good defense from Ice. And Roberts comes up with it. And way to recover, but a bad pass there by Smith. And <laughs> wow. Wow. Wacky sequence of events there. Yeah. As uh, Daquan Smith's pass was deflected, stolen, stolen back, loose ball, and now it's going to be staying here with the Blue Devils. No reaction from the head coach for Plattsburgh, so that's how it, that's, uh, he thought it was the right call this time. He's been pretty quiet this half. Yep, so far. Yeah. This no. is ice. Then again, it's only been five minutes, so. Tyler Roberts for three. That one is short. Johnson with the offensive rebound. Can't get that one to drop. See, if you're Johnson, pass it back out. Start over again. You don't need to stay there. You, you yeah. know, especially with the size down low. I mean, it's better just to start back out because nine out of ten times you're going to be, it's either going to be blocked or something like that. And Patron drains that one. Now everyone's quiet in the room after that three. It's back to 17. And I feel like this always comes with Fredonia. They're very streaky. Like they start out slow, get hot, then really like hit a low, and then they'll get hot again. Yeah, so uh, if they can kind of be more consistent in their play, they might be able to pull off a win here. Smith kicks it back out. Messiah Hill tries a corner three. And he drains that one. Back to a 14-point game. Yeah, and that's a big three there. I mean, way to be patient and take your time. He was wide open with that. Now DeAngelis tries an open three. That one's short. Rebounded by, guess who, Patron. Puts it up and in. Patron's up to 22, right at his season average. Smith to Roberts over to Ice gives it to Roberts he drives in reverse layup is good way to finish and drive I mean he had to take three hard hits it there and just stay composed stay in bounds and he was able to get it in yeah nice take from Tyler Roberts and now this one's Poked away from Daquan Smith. As it's Plattsburgh's ball. As Mason will come back in for Adam Jaquish. And if I'm them, as in Fredonia, they, they got to make the switch. You got to get Cody Johnson out of there, and you got to get your biggest player in there for the 6 11 Plattsburgh player. And Patron gets his offensive rebound, puts it up and in, and he's going to the line. So Cody Johnson picks up another foul. And Johnson is known for 
his fouls, unfortunately. I mean, he do, he's a very hard and physical player, but he is known for his fouls. Yeah, I, he has about. Yeah, he's picked up his fourth, so. He has 44 for the season, so. Colton George comes in for him. And, I mean, I, I, I like Colton George coming in here because he, he had the hot hand in the first half, but you take there's out no a size. guy with the size of Cody Johnson, yeah, patron, you know, he's got size. And then Mason just checked in. He's 6'11". And you just have one big guy out there for Fredonia right now. I, I mean, And now there's a timeout, so maybe they are going to make the switch here. I'd put Kadeem Riddick back in. You know, he was playing good defense. Mm -hmm. He does have two fouls, but he doesn't have four like Johnson. No. So you put Riddick back in, and you get some more size, some more uh, um, strength. Skies is the only one with really, you know, any size. I mean, unfortunately. Who did you say? Gary. Oh, Gary Sykes? Gary uh, Sykes, excuse me. Yeah, so. I feel like he's the only one real size against you know, that can be, uh, you know, very close to, you know, the 6'11 phenom. I mean, it's very hard to match anyone with that size in D3 basketball. Wow, I didn't realize either. Chris Middleton, he plays guard. I didn't even realize this, so he's 6'7. Mm. So that's three guys that are just really tall right now and Fredonia only their tallest guy is 6'3". Now, now you can play l like this, but you just got to be quicker than them. Yeah. Almost like what Golden State does. They are a very small lineup, but the way they beat you is with quickness, precise passing, and obviously beyond the arc. But that is one way to really beat a tall team, a bigger team. Tyler Roberts. Yeah. Corner three. There no foul is called. Yeah. One on one here. And nice defense from Daquan Smith. He poked that one away. And here come the Blue Devils in transition. This is Isaiah Ice. Gives it to Colton George. Daquan Smith is open in the corner. And Roberts now finds Smith. His three is way off. And it'll be going to Plattsburgh. And it looks like they changed the call. Okay, yep. Now it's staying here. It might be staying with Fredonia. Now Nyasa, will, Nyasa and Mark Morgan will come back in, giving Fredonia a little more size. Give Tyler Roberts a uh, little breather. He's been barking at the officials all day, pretty much. So Nyasa will inbound it to Morgan. Now Smith, Nyasa, George. His pass gets stolen. And DeAngelis finishes the layup. 69 to 50 now is the score. And again, you gotta realize when to pass it, when to chest pass, when to bounce pass. You know, you, you gotta make those recognitions there. Messiah Hill's shot is off the back of the iron. Now Middleton backs down Morgan, puts up the shot. Can't connect there. It's going out of bounds and going to Fredonia. So Nassau will dribble it up. Nassau yeah, has also missed some games, I mean, due to health reasons or whatever. I mean, he's only played 16 games, started 11. So uh, let's see how well and healthy he really is. Smith drives in and can't get that floater to fall. And DeAngelis' three is... That was a long yeah, three. Good from way downtown. 72 to 50. And Fredoni needs a timeout to regroup here. Yeah, down by 22. They were closing in, had the momentum to start it, and now it's getting a little out of hand. It looks like they don't know what to do here. So a very nice start to the second half for the Blue Devils. And Ever since the last few last few minutes, Plattsburgh has, you know, re, regained control of the game. Yeah. And uh, they're back out to a 22-point lead. It was down to 11 at one point. 
And it, you know, it's kind of like you said, Crescenzo. They usually start out slow, pick it up a little bit, make a comeback, and then, you know, hit another low spot, and then usually they come back, so. Uh, but usually it's too well, late at that yeah, point. It, you know? It's too, li too little too late, but, you know, let's see if they can keep chipping away at this lead. This is Nyasa. He drives in. And, and it's going to be a travel. So Nyasa travels. Cox will come back in for Middleton. Almost 10 minutes to go here. As Plattsburgh will now this take is control. Brandon Johnson. Now Cox to Mason. I'm surprised Mason just doesn't drive in at that point. And Daquan Smith is going to be called on the foul. Is good recognition from DeAngelis to feed it down low to Patron because once again he was at the size advantage with Daquan Smith guarding him. And now they're going to bring in the biggest guy they got for Fernonia. Gary Sykes will be coming back in. Mm -hmm. Mason, offensive foul. And and now the <laughs> now you see and now the outrage. Cardinals coach is up. And <laughs> Morgan yeah. goes back to inbound it. No one was there to get the inbound pass. Yeah, so to Morgan. Morgan drives in. Not sure what this one is. Okay, they're gonna call Brandon Johnson on the. Yeah, Brandon Johnson will be called for his first foul. And one area that Plattsburgh is very good at is their rebound. They have 885 on the season compared to 702 from the rest of the team, so they definitely know how to rebound. Smith drives in, his floater is no good. Morgan with the offensive rebound, finds Sykes. He gives it to Nyasa, he's open for three, and it's good. What a, Nyasa. what a good job to get it out and see what happens when you bring it back out. If you were to stay low, you know, you got so many bodies in there, but they were able to get the opportunity to bring it back out and get a three. Now the Cardinals working around the perimeter, this is Johnson. Now Cox, he's open. And he and travels. Travel. That's a bad travel. I mean, he was wide open for that three. So the Blue Devils get the ball back. Nyasa will be bringing it up. Morgan has it in the corner. Out to Nyasa. Smith to George. They're just working around the perimeter now. Nyasa drives in. Now gives it to Colton George. Wild pass. Goes off of George and out of bounds. Yeah, I mean, you can't waste opportunities like this. I mean, you're down, you know, by 19. With 10 minutes left. Yeah, th this is where you got to not be as sloppy and make every possession count if you're Fredonia. So Johnson drives in. Good defense from Smith, he pokes that away. And Smith <laughs> gives the ball right back to the ref. Shaking his head saying that was not a foul. So Ice comes back in for him. That's Daquan Smith's third foul. And now you hear the Blue Devil coach getting after it and wants someone to move around or something. Hey, Gary Sykes was out of position. And wow. And Mason can't finish two times. A 6'11 guy cannot finish wow. twice for the Cardinals. And now here comes Ice. And his shot is blocked. I'm just surprised that they left him wide open underneath the net like that. But yeah. he missed twice. And Layup is no good from Cox. No foul is called. Now Nyasa. 
Drives in. Kicks it to Sykes. And he doesn't catch that. The Cardinals take over. Cox now to Middleton. Johnson tries the three. That one's short. Ice with the rebound. Nine minutes left. Fredoni's got to make a run here. Yes, they do. Ice drives in. Nias in the corner for three. It's good. It rolls around and in. Fediaco Nyasa starting to come alive here in the second half. Is it, lit is it too little too late here, though? A lot of time left. A lot of time. 8.40. As long as they're able to stop a couple of possessions, you know, make it nope. every one out of three. Patriot tries a three. It's too strong. Ice slows things down. Gives it to Niasa. He tries another three. He connects again. Same Fidiaco Niasa cuts this down to a 13-point game. That was from the same spot, too. I mean, watch out now. He really does have the hot hand, like you said, Kevin. The bench and the crowd are starting to come alive again. 72 to 59. Eight minutes left. Patron works on George. And no good. Mason's there, and he puts us one up and in this time. I don't even think he had to really jump. Yeah. He can just lay it in. He's so tall. 15 point game. 7.45 left. Ice. Uses the screen. Uses another one. Gets it to George. Nyasa in the corner for three again. No good. I think the crowd would have erupted yeah, if he hit that I th one. I think that one would have erupted the crowd too. Now Johnson pull up. No good. Ice. Rice needs to either bring it in fast George or in the down. corner. That one's short. Man, the crowd just wants it so bad. Yes. I think this would be a huge win if they are able to come back and win this game. 7.19 left. 74 to 59 is the score. Definitely, definitely reachable. You know, definitely in reach for Fredonia. So Riddick and Roberts will come back in for Morgan and Nyasa. And Nyasa, he had the hot hand. I, I would think Daquan Smith will be coming back in. He does have three fouls, but he also had the hot hand. So look for him to be coming back in with just seven minutes left. Middleton over to DeAngelis. Down low in the patron. He's getting double teamed. Good defense from Sykes, but Patron's just too much, and he makes that fade away. 26 points. I mean, he's been sensational here today. Ice to Riddick. He tries a three. That one's no good. Now Middleton, open jumper. Misses that but it'll be staying here off of Fredonia. One thing that you really do see though is that they, definitely in the second half, that they're not quitting. They're, they are keep fighting each and every possession, which is something that's good. You can definitely learn from that uh, throughout the off season, you know? Now Patron gets it down low. Kicks it back out. Cox tries the three, that one's blocked. Goes right to Mason and he puts it up and not in, but he's going to the line for two. And as of right now, he hasn't really made a free throw, so we'll see if he can make these two here. Misses the first. And if they keep him in the game, I mean, that's the guy to go to if you're if you can foul him and get him the ball, that especially coming up here, I mean, that that's the guy to go to, especially with such little experience. Makes a second free throw. So it's back to an 18 point game. Looks like number 24 will be in the game for Plattsburgh. That'll be Adam Jaquish. He can't, comes back in. And now George to Roberts. 
passes Riddick to Ice. Down low into Sykes. Nice move, but can't make that one. And those are missed opportunities. I mean, especially now you're pretty much even with size. And Sykes just stole that one away. And yeah, stole out of his hand. Not sure what the call is. I don't think there's a foul. They might have called that a jump ball, so it'll be staying here. It looked like a clean strip to me. But yeah, it did. But Plattsburgh will gain possession or regain possession. Now, Patron gets double teamed. And another jump ball. This one will be going to Fredonia. I think that was the right call, too. I mean, it, even though it was well into his hands, but... Fredonia was just swarming him, and I think that was the right call. And Roberts sprints down to inbound it to ice. Maybe a little water on it. The ref was wiping it on his pants a little bit, but now Isaiah Ice has it. Ice finds Roberts. He drives in. Kicks it back out the ice. To Colton George, he tries a three. No good. That one gets tipped around into the hands of Middleton. And see. He circles around and now brings it up, gives it to Jaquish. Three-point shot is no good from DeAngelis, but he gets it back, gives it to Patron. Reverse layup is good. And back that, to a 20-point game. That was beautiful, I mean, by Patron. I mean, that was just really good I mean he noticed that it was probably going to be blocked if he would continue on his left side so we went underneath Colton George corner three no good Sykes offensive rebound and Colton <laughs> George is unable to find his stroke that he had in in the first half and the problem is is that he's the only one down low to get rebounds there's no one else being down low it's like four against one so he's pretty much doing all the work trying to get the rebounds which you know definitely towards next season they have to make adjustments. And Ice throws this one into Daquan Smith, who just checked back in. Ice tries a corner three. Too strong. Four fifty left in the game. Fredoni is down by twenty. Ball gets worked down low. This is Jay Quish. Works on Sykes. And his pass is stolen. Daquan Smith comes up the court with speed. And Smith can't finish. And Riddick tips it in. Really smart and placement. Those are Riddick's first two points of the game. That's really good placement there for Riddick. I mean, just to know where to be at that position at that point in the game. I mean, those, are, those might be crucial two points if they're able to come back here. Now Jay Quish. Shot is no good, gets the offensive rebound. No good once again, but he's going to the line. So two shots from the charity stripe. And you know, every free throw counts at this point for Fredonia. I mean, every miss is pretty much a blessing in disguise. I mean, just to try to get back in the game here. First free throw is good. Niasa comes back in for Sykes. And every free throw that is made is a curse. I mean, it's just unfortunate for Fredonia. And every time it looked like they were taking a step forward, three steps were taken back. You know, it, it hurts to say, but, you know, these are stuff to improve on in the offseason, which there's definitely going to be a lot of improvements in the offseason, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because now with all these improvements, you can definitely learn and overcome it. And, you know, next year is a new year. So timeout, Fredonia, after Jay Kush made both free throws. So 4.06 left in the game, 81 to 61. And, you know, Crescenzo, th this is, you know, obviously not a, a great game for Fredonia, but compared to what we've seen against a second place Cardinal team, 15 and four overall, nine and three in the Suniac, you know, hats off to Fredonia for, you know, just keep it, keeping it competitive today. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously uh, this is 
you know, one of the harder games, if, you know, definitely in the conference, you know, other than, you know, their number one seed, Oswego. But they are staying with it, and, you know, they're, they're staying humble and they're staying competitive all at the same time. And it looks like they want it, but unfortunately, it's just, you know, at this point in the season where the want is not there anymore, where, you know, you're not fighting for a playoff spot. You don't have that extra drive, that hunger, you know? And now it's all about pride, yeah. which pride can go many different ways from each individual. So, you know, one person's pride can overtake another's. And how much does his pride have? Um, where it's definitely, we're going to see it definitely next year, especially at the start of the season. Yeah. Uh, in the SUNYAC standings, goes Oswego, Plattsburgh, Cortland, Rockport, Potsdam, who we'll see tomorrow, New Paltz, Oneana, Buff State, as Daquan Smith gets fouled, uh, Buff State, Geneseo, and Fredonia. So Oswego, Plattsburgh, Cortland, Rockport, Potsdam, and New Paltz are... Those yeah, are those are the six teams. If the playoffs were to start tomorrow Which or today, they'd I, be in. I think we have to say, too, that Pot's name was supposed to be yesterday. And because it wasn't yesterday, this is their first game, uh, you know, out of the two games that they were supposed to have. Maybe the roles would have been different if Pot's name was first and they got that good warm-up, the, the team that wasn't in second place, but a good competitive playoff team who they have beaten. Or, uh, excuse me, they haven't beaten the women's team have. But, you know, a good competitive pace before anything. And maybe they would have been different as a big block there. And now Ice. Sinyas in the corner for another three. That one is off the mark. Basically what I meant was, like, uh, it might have been different because they ha would have had a tougher test. Now Patron comes in all alone, but he can't finish that. And now Smith. Sinyas, a nice pass. And Nyasa finishes. 81 to 64, 320 left. Full court press from Fredonia. Cardinals break it. This is Jayquish. Nice pass. Patron. And he puts it up and in. Pretty much just can't leave the top yeah. store wide open. It wasn't even he was wide open. It was just great passing. I mean, it, it just kills yeah. them at this point. Smith drives in, kicks it to Nyasa. He drives in, gets blocked, and he's going to the line. Eighty-three to sixty-four, two forty-nine left in the game. So every point matters now. If there's any any hope for a comeback, you know, yep. it's got to be right now. Yeah, I mean every point counts. First free throws. That's no good. Yep, that's definitely not a good sign. Second free throw is good. And yes, is up to 14 today. Now they're looking for someone to inbound the pass for Plattsburgh. And now tough defense is going to have to be applied to, for Fredonia. And they break the full court press. And Fredonia gets back into position. So good job this time from the Blue Devils. Now ball gets worked around the perimeter. This is Cox. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Jake Wish, back to Cox, three seconds left. Poked away and puts up the wild shot, no good. So good defense there from Fredonia. It's the shot clock. Nyasa comes back in for Moody. like a couple of substitutions here for the Cardinals as well. Middleton and Cox come out. 
2.15 left. Ice. Smith. Back to Ice. That's Daquan Smith. That three is too strong. As Fredonia will begin to empty his bench. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much done at this point. Nice passing from Plattsburgh. Looks like to be an offensive foul, but, though. Yep, they're going to call him on the offensive foul. It's definitely going to do it. A lot of changes here for the last minute and 55. So Matt Perez comes in for the first time today. Tariq Troutman come in, comes in. Marcus Ryan, Gary Sykes, and Abdullah Yusuf. So Troutman, over to Ryan. Thought about that three, now gives it back to Troutman. Tries a deep three, that one's no good. And now Todd, to Bernhard, to carry, back to Todd. Carry, down low into Mason, works on Sykes, turnaround hook shot is good. An easy put up there for 611. That's why his new number, it should be just 611. <laughs> now Troutman calling for the screen, gives it to Perez, history, nothing but nut. Nice three there for Perez. 85 to 68, 56 seconds left. Just a splash right there, I mean, nothing but net is right. Yeah. A high arc too, I mean, it looked like Steph Curry was hitting that. <laughs> splash Brothers. <laughs> Can you believe that trade with the Knicks and Mavericks? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Are you a Knicks fan? Nope, Portland. Oh, you like Portland? Okay. Yep. I like Portland, but the Knicks are my team, so. <laughs> I was uh, shocked when Chris Tapps was traded. Yeah, I was a little shocked too as the kickball violation. But no, it's not. And, you know, I. Oh, wait, it is. I, I kind of like the trade. I kind of don't. I mean, if Wesley Matthews and DeAndre Jordan as Mason Travels, if they were under contract for more than this year, I would like the trade, you know? You get two first round picks, Dennis Smith Jr. Yeah. Wesley Matthews and DeAndre Jordan, like three key pieces to the Knicks puzzle. Yeah. But, I mean, Matthews and Jordan, their contracts are up after this year. They probably won't be back. They might even be bought out. True. As Ryan tries that three, that one's short. Outlet pass up to Carey. And, Ooh, oh! And a hard foul. Wow. Liam Carey came in all alone, it looked like, but good hustle from Gary Sykes. He blocked his shot and then got a good piece of uh, carry and that's hard foul. Yeah, that's definitely a, uh, uh, that was a hard foul. Glad everyone's okay. They shook hands and everything's good. It looks like to be a technical foul too. I mean, at this, at this point in the game, you know, you're showing effort, so. And now the coaches are meeting, yep. talking at center court. Carey makes the first one. I mean, would you rather him give it up at that point? You know, not make it, you know, it happens. Yeah. He makes the second one as well. 87 to 68. So the Cardinals can just uh, dribble this out as game clock and shot clock are separated by, oh, <laughs> Carey will shoot. They're separated by just uh, five tenths of a second. Let's see if Fredoni can score one more time. This is Troutman. Nice dribble moves to Yusuf. He drives in, puts up the shot, and it's good. Abdullah Yusuf gives Fredonia 70 points. And the Cardinals will just dribble this out. <laughs> see the difference in height, man. Yeah. The smallest guy, Tariq Troutman, and the biggest guy. Troutman's 5'8", and Mason is, as six we 11. were saying, 6'11", so <laughs> over a foot difference. 
But that will do it for today's broadcast, or for today's game. The broadcast is not done yet, so don't go anywhere. We got our post game show coming up. Yep. Um, but that's it for the game. Plattsburgh wins 87 to 70. And hey, Crescenzo, what are your what are your thoughts about today's game? Uh, I thought it was. Um, Actually, you know what? Real quick, let me just run through the stats and we can just talk about the sure. game. Because I'd rather finish talking about the game and looking ahead instead of doing all the stats. All right, so. Plattsburgh shot 46% from the field. Fredonia, 39%. Plattsburgh was 35% from three-point land. Fredonia, 29%. <laughs> Plattsburgh out-rebounded Fredonia, 51-25. to 25, So yeah. height advantage was huge again. 14-10 to 10 turnovers. So Fredonia did good, a, a lot better job turning the ball, or of not turning the ball over this game with only 10 turnovers.